Hi, welcome to the Enterprise Continuum and Tool Quiz section. Now, personally, I find this topic, Enterprise Continuum, to be one of the most complex topic of TOGAF. I have tried to remove all the complexity and try to explain that in a simpler way in my videos. Hope you all had a chance to go through the video and have got benefit from it. I will include the link of the video in the, in the description below, so you can check it if you haven't done so. So the weightage of this topic is around 4 mark. After ADM, I consider this topic to be the most important topic. So let's test out the knowledge of Enterprise Continuum with some practice questions. So what is the strategy to learn this section? Check out my videos and read through the official TOGAF um, link for Enterprise Continuum, uh, the link for which I have provided. I think that should be sufficient for you to have a good understanding of Enterprise Continuum. Also, if you like my teaching style and would like to avail one-to-one -one training for TOGAF Enterprise Architecture Exam Preparation, you can contact me at kishoreteach at gmail.com. So please subscribe to my video and press the bell icon if you haven't done so, so that you are notified as I post in the latest video. So let's start the quiz. So the first question, which of the following statement does not apply to Enterprise Continuum? It is repository of all known architecture asset and artifacts in the IT industry. It is a view of architecture repository. It provides method for classifying architecture and solution asset. It is an important aid to communication for architecture on both the buy and the supply side. Or it is an aid to organization of reusable solution asset. The correct answer is option A. Enterprise Continuum is not a repository of all asset produced during the application of ADM. So the option A that it is a repository of all known architecture asset and artifacts in the IT industry is wrong. Next question, which of the following in the Enterprise Continuum is an example of internal architecture or solution artifact that is available for reuse? The options are deliverable from previous architecture work, industry reference model and patterns, TOGAF TRM, arts data model. The correct option is option A, deliverable from previous architecture work. If you think, the answer is quite straightforward. They are asking which of the following enterprise continuum is an example of internal architecture solution artifact that is available for reuse. And the obvious answer is deliverable from the previous architecture work. Next, which of the following in the enterprise continuum is not an example of an external architecture or solution artifact? The TOGAF TRM, IT specific model, arts data model, deliverable from previous architecture work. If you see, this question is kind of related to the previous question that we have just seen. So the answer is option D, deliverable from previous architecture work. We had checked that in the last question that deliverable of previous architecture work is an example of internal architecture. Which of the following best completes the next sentence? The enterprise continuum aids communication within the enterprise, between enterprise, with vendor organization by providing a consistent language to communicate the different differences between architecture or all of this. So enterprise continuum basically aids communication within, between vendor organization and that therefore the correct answer is option E, all of this. Let's get going guys, you are doing a great job. Next is which of the following are considered to be a consistent part of enterprise continuum? Standard informa information base, governance log, TOGAF TRM, Architecture Continuum, Solution Continuum, Business Architecture or Application Architecture. The two constituent part of Enterprise Continuum are Solution and the Architecture Continuum or I should say the other way around Architecture and Solution Continuum and uh, check out my videos where I have explained this in detail. So the correct answer is option C. Next, which of the following response does not complete the next sentence, the solution continuum dash provide a way to understand the implementation of assets defined in the architecture continuum addresses the commonality and differences among the product system and services of an implemented system can be considered to have 
at each level a set of building block that represent a solution to a business requirement at the level contains a number of reusable architecture building block has a relationship to the architecture continuum that includes guidance direction and support so architecture building block are part of architecture continuum it is not part of solution continuum so everything else other than option d is correct uh, regarding to or related to solution continuum so the correct answer is option d let's get going next question which of the following reference building block is not part of solutions continuum is it system library organization specific solutions foundation solution common system solution or industry solution and the correct answer is option a system library others are part of solution continuum next which of the following is considered a model for physical instance of enterprise continuum is it the architecture repository triple rm standard information base or togaf trm and the answer is architecture repository check out my videos where i have explained this in detail the next which class of architect general information held within the architecture repository would contain adopted reference model is it the architecture meta model architecture capability standard information base or reference library and the correct answer is option d reference library it will it will contain adopted reference model okay let's get going which of which level of architecture landscape contains the most detail is it capability architecture segment or strategic and uh, i believe you have checked my video i have explained this again capability architecture contains more detail or the most detail the last which of the following describe a purpose of standard information base is it to provide a method for architecture development provide a basis for architecture governance to provide a record of governance activity to show an architectural view of building block and uh, the correct answer is option b standard compliance is used as part of architecture governance okay so that covers the architecture continuum and tool quiz hope you have got benefit from this set of questions check out my videos on enterprise continuum uh, okay and uh, uh, please message me uh, in the discussion uh, section or in the comment section if you have any questions i'll be more than happy to answer those so guys uh, keep humble uh, stay positive okay take care